A.J. Hinch was fired. Mike D'Antoni's in the last year of his contract, so if the Rockets don't make some kind of championship run, he might be gone. And Bill O'Brien, well, he ain't going nowhere. But <laughs> Tab Ramos is a brand new coach for the Houston Dynamo. I've met up with him the other day to talk about his new job and the upcoming season. I've been to Houston a couple times with the senior national team um, as assistant coach. Um, I also played here in Houston when I was playing at Tigres. Uh, we played against a team from El Salvador here in Houston. Uh, and then when I was younger, we had a national sports festival here in Houston. So I, I had a chance to stay at Rice University for about a week yeah. while we did that. <laughs> yeah. So how has the city been moving here and getting so used far? To so far, it's been amazing uh, because once you get used to the the. The, the, trying to stay away from certain areas of the traffic jams that can happen anywhere, anytime. Uh, I feel like it's it's such a great town. I mean, you know, it's got amazing restaurants. It's a huge city. There's so many things to do. Um, not that I have too much time to do them, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> right. but I hear um, our club is obviously not just the first team. Uh, mm -hmm. So what most people see is just that you know our starting players that go into the stadium on Sunday, and that's basically the extent of it. Um, most of the meetings that happen day to day could be about the academy, they could be about the USL team, our second team, or they could be a number of things from individual players' issues to obviously the first team um, training sessions. Yeah. You worked <coughs> so long with the US under 20 team. How does that experience help you with, on an MLS roster? Well, I think it's, you know, the, the, the one way that it helps me the most is that with the national teams, the one thing that happens is that you have a very short period of time to get your point across and to get a team playing a certain way. I feel like because you're always in that intense environment of having, you know, only a couple of days to put everything together and to get a bunch of players from all different clubs from all over the world to play the same way and to play together and to fight together, I think when you come into a club environment, you have a little bit more time and you can do with, uh, things with a little bit more time. In terms of the way the team is gonna play, I'm gonna continue to do some of the things that I've done in the past that I feel comfortable with that I think fit sort of the, the type of player that we have at this club. Um, I'd like to see a team that's a little bit proactive, a team that likes to have the ball, a team that's, that's not afraid to go forward all the time. Uh, and a team that, you know, after, in particular, after they score a goal, a team that's constantly looking to get another one other, you know, um, besides just trying to defend their own goal. We're so excited, you know, we're meeting this morning with the coaches, actually right here. Uh, we're talking about, wow, you know, we've, we've been here for th almost three months already and we haven't even seen the team, barely. Uh, so, and at the end of the day, we're coaches. We like to be on the field. We like to be out in the grass. and. Uh, and in the sun and all that stuff, so we can't wait till that happens. I think the state of soccer in the U.S. is at a very difficult moment right now um, because we're 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 not far away from World Cup qualifying into you know to the next World Cup. We obviously missed the last one, uh, and I don't think in the in the meantime a whole lot of progress has been made. Uh, and so I think this has to be a year of very fast progress in order for us to get on track to qualify to the next World Cup.